All right, I saw a pair of these sneakers on Nike's website. Wanted to grab them for you guys, do a little bit of a review because it looked like kind of a takedown version of the Invincible Runs. And this is known as the Journey Run. I think it's a pretty clean looking pair of sneakers. And honestly, I asked my wife like what the price point uh, she thought these would be. And she said about 150. They're not though, they're only like $90. So it's a pretty nice entry level price point. And so I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this model. If it's comfortable, it's worth checking out. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so my initial impressions right out of the box. I gotta say, I actually really like the look of the model. Something I didn't anticipate for a $90 pair from Nike. This is cheaper than the Motivas. This is cheaper than the Invincible Runs, obviously the Infinity Runs, which I've done reviews on all of those already on the channel. Uh, this does have some elements that remind me of other models. But uh, primarily, it just looks like a nice running pair of sneakers. But the thing that caught my attention the most is probably the upper of the shoe. It's not just your standard kind of like cheap, generic feeling uh, engineered mesh upper. It looks like there's quite a few layers of a, like a finer mesh underneath here that looks like it's a little bit more breathable. That gives it a little bit of a nice appeal and something that, I don't know, it looks like it's more expensive than maybe it is. You do have fused overlays for the Nike swooshes on the sides as well as a lacing system. A little bit of reinforcement around the medial side as well. And then you do have a little bit of reinforcement on the toe box as well. But the mesh on the upper I think looks really nice. Also you do have a little bit of a two-tone color to that on this colorway because uh, the layer underneath is actually orange that you can see through the shoes. So I like the little bit of a mix up of color over top, I think it looks great. Also the, the tongue is nice. You do have a nice little plush little button here that feels nice to just push it, I don't know why, but it's not actually anything, just a little bit of foam in here. It does have the Nike name and the swoosh there. The tongue is fairly padded and then the heel cushioning is nice also. You do also have some nice style elements with the black section on the midsole that kind of comes up and around. And then also you do have a little bit of a reflective strip here in the front, which is functional. Very nice to see that. As well as this little fuse on radial dot on the back. I don't know if it's functional or not, but it looks cool. It's a nice little addition there. You do also have an embroidered Nike swoosh on the back of the heel here. Again, just a nice little uh, branding element to the shoe. Then you get to the midsole and you see that it does have some branding here that says Comfy Ride, which is interesting. I've never heard of that before. I don't know if this is some sort of new technology or not. I'll get into that in a second when I read Nike's description. But on feet, it feels firm. It's not like super soft or anything like that. It's not like Nike React. It's not like Nike Zoom X. It's harder than Cushlon 3.0. So maybe it kind of feels like a Cushlon 2.0, but it may be its own proprietary stuff that we'll get into in a second. Not bad on feet though. Like I said, a little bit firmer, but overall very comfortable. Also, you do have kind of the in cave section right here on the side, and then it kind of pushes out on the medial side a little bit. That is very similar to the Motivas as well, which is the walking shoe that I've done a review on. Those are a great bargain in my opinion for the price point because they're they're quite comfortable. I would say the Motivas are probably a little bit more comfortable on feet than these. You do have some decent traction on the outsole as well. I did have a little bit of a slippery feeling with the grip on wet floors, but I'm in Oregon, so I mean, that's gonna happen on a lot of different shoes, unfortunately, uh, but you do see some foam uh, cutouts on the bottom as well. Also for a $90 shoe, it's kind of nice. This is semi-gusseted as well. So it's actually gusseted through here, meaning it's attached through this section of the, the midfoot, which is nice. It makes it so the tongue doesn't shift around too much left or right, but it does have this little Nike pinwheel uh, swooshes right here that actually adds a little bit of lockdown. Anyways, the price point again, $90 for the journey run. They do fit true to size in my opinion. I'm a 9.5, that fit me perfectly fine at the 9.5. And they do have about five different colorways available on their website. I like this colorway the best, but I'll link them in the description if you guys are interested in seeing the other colorways. Now, as I always mention, if you do use my links, I do get a little bit of a kickback. It lets Nike know that you guys mess with the channel. Greatly appreciate it when you guys do that. Anyways, what it says about the product, enjoy every step, route, and jaunt in the Nike journey run. It'll have you striding and smiling on punishing pavements thanks to extra high foam stacks, super soft comfy ride cushioning. It's so comfortable that you'll already be looking forward to lacing them up again. Engineered mesh helps your feet feel secure, extra cushioning in the heel, soft touch points in the tongue and collar add comfort. Rubber outsole provides traction. And the color of this one is sail in total orange and burnt sunrise thunder blue. Kind of like the thunder blue on it. I thought it was black. So is it worth 90 bucks? I would say yes, but I'm also somebody that just enjoys trying new footwear out. It's not the most comfortable ones on the market for $90. You can get other pairs that are probably more comfortable. Some of them on sale. And if you wait for these to go on sale in the future, it's going to be a nice pickup, I think, for people. Get these for 50 bucks on sale. I think it's a great looking package uh, for what you're paying. 90 bucks now, it's a nice entry level, fun looking pair, different. It looks a lot more premium than it is. And it's not something that I would normally say about some products. So it's like kind of nice that it's like refreshing to get something that looks cool, 
and is for a better price than you'd expect. Overall, it's a pretty comfortable shoe on feet, but the Invincible Runs blow these things out of the water. The Invincible Runs are so much more comfortable. The Infinity Runs are better as well. The Motivas are better as well. I think all three of those are better options. So if you're looking for something softer and squishier underfoot, the Invincible Runs, in my opinion, are the top of the chart. This is like on the bottom of the chart for soft squishy, but for those people that don't like the Invincible Run feel, it's too soft for them. This pair offers something that is very cushioned, but it's not crazy soft feeling underfoot. So it, it feels like it could be a very functional shoe for a lot of people out there. Something you can wear as a daily pair of sneakers and be happy with uh, on your feet. Anyways, if you guys are interested in buying a pair, link them in the description. Appreciate y'all for stopping by and watching. If you guys have any other models that you guys are interested in seeing a review on, something that I've never seen before, something that is maybe new that I haven't tried yet, leave a comment, let me know. And appreciate y'all for stopping by and watching. Have a good rest of the day though. Thank you guys again for stopping in and hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more content. All right, peace guys.